Welcome back. This is the post-Easter edition of the Hobo and His Girlfriend podcast. Again, my name is Hobo Tom. My girlfriend is at her real job, so she can't be here with us. And this is the weekly Raw and SmackDown review. And I'm going to start off a little bit because someone did send comments, so you send comments too. Do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and you'll get a shout-out as well. Um, the first thing, I'd like to shout-out to Nostrin. Nostrin, thank you very much for your comment. Thank you for your subscribe. There will be a little bonus part in this video that goes to your comment. Um, he commented on the theme music for Caesar Bononi. Unfortunately, due to some copyright restrictions, I had to have it removed. So I had to kind of finagle it a little bit. But just for you and just because you asked for it, in this clip, in about five seconds, you are going to get the unedited version of Lars Sullivan. Again, Lars Sullivan's great. He just tosses people around. Again, thank you, Nostrin. There's your shout-out. Again, visit his YouTube page. Again, it's Nostrin, N-O-S-T-H-E-R-N. -E YouTube. Like and subscribe to him as well. That's your shout-out. Um, some other news. Adam Blompier. I'm going to post again a little, little tube on this. Thank you, sir. Good luck with everything. And best wishes. I did enjoy WCPW. And a little clip with him in it. He was going through some issues, and always you want to wish the best for people. I do want to have a PD Club shirt. I think that was it, yeah. Or no, it was it was BX. I was Pachidi and BX. I'm sorry. Again, this is Bullet Club Club Club. We're live. Um. Also, like to shout out, there is a good wrestling organization out there, Southern Pro Lucha Libre. Please check them out. Lucha Libre action is one of the fastest pass ma matches you will ever see. Again, the Southern Pro Lucha Libre. Again, check them out. The Cuban Connection, I believe one of them is going to have their retirement match. So again, that should be pretty good. Again, Southern Pro Lucha Libre, SPLL. Now that all that stuff's done, taken care of, again, please do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Again, you could be like Nostrin and get a shout out on YouTube. We're going to start off a little bit with Raw. It was an okay go home show. I mean, the only thing I have to say about it, that the matches were, uh, with the exception of the Rollins Allure match, which, again, Blue Balor lost. I thought that was his lucky color besides Grey Balor. But 
my only real knock is that the promos were long. They tried to really push the network. Eh, it was so so. So the first thing we had the whole promo with Stephanie McMahon and Triple H. Again, they come out as the heels with Coachman as the moderator. It was a little Q and A. Looked like that up. Eh. New, New Japan does it better. By the way, I heard New Japan Sakura Genesis, I think, was an excellent show. Um, one of these days, I did review a little bit of when they came to the States last, because that was on Access TV. Maybe, maybe that was Sakura Genesis. I don't know. I don't follow New Japan that much. Soon the Lucha, Lucha Underground is coming back. Yes, yes, yes. Finally, this stuff's good. And I will get to that because that's one of my more enjoyable wrestling programs. It's really indie-like, and it's fun. It's it's very cheesy, but the wrestling is, is just awesome to watch. Again, I'll, I'll get to that later. But for all, again, you start off with the interview or press conference or Q&A, whatever you want to call it, between Stephanie McMahon and her husband, Triple H, the game. Hunter Hearst Helmsley. John Polizek. From from his days in NWA. Again, I'm old. And Kurt Angle and Ronda Rousey. And it was good. It was a good verbal back and forth. A little, little Q&A &A from Twitter, I think. One day I'll have to get to... One day. Um, It was so-so. Again, for me, it was just long... I'm surprised there were no CM Punk chants. I know they were in Nashville, and it's a real Chicago thing. But again, normally you hear CM Punk, CM Punk, whenever whenever Stephanie speaks, and it's just entertaining. Um, again, verbal sparring back and forth. Ronda Rousey's actually getting better on the mic. That is what I like. She's actually taking those classes in NXT or, or wherever, and she's getting a lot better on the microphone, which is really what you need as a pro wrestler. You can have all the talent in the world as a pro wrestler, and trust me, I enjoy talent wrestling. But if I'm not going to be entertained, you can be the greatest te technical wrestler in, in, in the galaxy or, or the universe. But if you can't do it on the mic, instead of being up here, you're going to be that tier level down. Yeah, so Ronda Rousey, it is good that Ronda Rousey is getting better on the mic. Um, unfortunately, she did get suplexed through a table. Do the math. Angle and Rousey are winning at WrestleMania. And we'll get more to my predictions probably on the video I'll put up on Saturday. Again, you will hear my girlfriend, who has a real job. We will have a video conf or phone conference, and you'll get to hear her predictions. Again, once I figure out what the whole match card is, I don't think some things are going to happen. But we'll get to that later in the show. From there, you have a Baylor DeVille match. I still can't behind Tony the village. She just doesn't do it for me. Bailey, I'm always uh, so so. It depends how they work her. Um, good match. I mean, it is what it was. This is it was really a ham sandwich match. I mean, nothing much. It more so advances the storyline between Bailey and Sasha than it did anything else. I am happy Sonya Deville did actually wear the right outfit, which is good because you do not want to see that, that area again, especially on TV. That's, 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 that's a no-no. Especially if kids are watching. Say, hey, what's that thing? There, it's like, oh. Again, fun match. Um, I still don't know if this is going to be a Bailey heel turn or a Sasha heel turn. They're, they're not really that clear on that. Bailey won, though, with, with the roll-up of all things. And then Sasha came in, raise my hand, I helped you. And she smacked her, and I'm like, uh, whatever. It would, it would really be interesting to see a Bailey heel turn, I think, more so than a Sasha heel turn. We've seen a heel Sasha, and she's really good as a heel, but, but a heel Bailey is something new. It, it's new. Um, the third, again, you have more of Asuka, but the third match, and this was the surf and turf. This was really good, and I have no idea why they gave this away for free, but it was Rollins versus Balor. Really good match. And the Miz came down, and I would just like to wish the Miz every happiness and every joy on the birth of their daughter. And again, every happiness. I hope he experiences every joy that every father could ever experience. 
and it was face miss. And I'll tell you what, face miss is good. But as far as the match goes, it was a really, it was a really good match. It was fun. This was the surf and turf. I mean, it's hard to say that he can put on a bad match. Either of these men, Rollins is good. Finn Bloor is good. It was fun. The only bad thing is Rollins won, so do the math. Probably Finn's. Again, we'll get back to that later. I, I, I have to, I have to stop talking and and silence myself when I'm trying to predict things without my girlfriend present. That goes on to Braun Strowman, and this was probably the, the best tease of the night. He comes out as Braun Strowman, calls out, and the bar comes out first. Well, we, we don't care. We'll face anyone. Oh, I got a tag team partner now. Let me go get him. And it's Brain Strowman, so it's Braun versus Brains. It was, it was a fun little, little, little brawl. Again, kind of advances the storyline. It will be interesting to see who is the WrestleMania tag team partner. And again, unfortunately, I, I did very bad things on YouTube, so it kind of kind of slapped my wrist and can't live stream WrestleMania. And I'm actually working that day for part of it. So yeah, I, I will post things and and maybe the big breakfast I make myself for WrestleMania. From there, we kind of moved on in the card. We had a Gold Dust. We we actually started off with a Matt Hardy promo and Gold Dust. This was a ham sandwich match. I mean, it's just too late for Goldust. Trust me, don't get me wrong. Goldust is still a great wrestler. He just passed his prime, and Matt Hardy's just kind of climbing back up. It was it was a good match. Hardy won. He kind of teased winning the Andre the Giant Battle Royal tournament. The delete. It was procure, procure, procure. So again, it was fun. It was what it was. It was a ham sandwich match. Next up, and I really had to take some some notes because part of it. Oh no, that's that's why it's there. Cena, blah blah blah. Undertaker, blah blah blah. I don't want to see Undertaker re wrestle. He's he's a bad hit. Just let him retire. I saw him retire at WrestleMania. I was satisfied. I had my emotional moment. He left his ring gear. That's it. Just Cena, you're it's, it's not there anymore. Cena, shut up. Please, I hope he's not around. It's not up. But again, Cena, blah blah blah. Again, it's one of those segments that seemed really long. Then Roman Reigns showed up. Oh I don't Brock. I'm gonna, you can't spot me. You did have the good zinger win when, when he talked about Kurt Angle and his gold medal in the pawn shop. And then kind of fun. Then you have... Oh, Elias! Elias just runs down and lands it. That's what he does. He, 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 he smacks around. He Slater walks out. It'll be fun to see him Again, really, just a really entertaining. <laughs> and then you had the Braun Strowman interaction with Kurt Hawkins. So, <laughs> so I really want to break into the tag team championship. Braun through the wall. There you broke into. You, you broke into something. I can't even do his voice. You broke into something. And there was a random guy in the background. It was kind of weird. But. Again, oh, you broke through. You broke through into the tag team division. You just broke through the wall. Again, it was, it was fun. It was fun as it was. Then you had a Nia Jackson. Blah, blah, blah. It's been... Blah, blah, blah. Again, just really heavy promos. I know it's WrestleMania, but... They, they could have done a little bit better job. This, I think. I mean, again, my name is Bobo Tom. Not, and I will collect aluminum. Writer for the WWE. Then you have the mass, the match, which uh, this was just a weird filler and just kind of serves, I guess, to fill story. You had Alexa Bliss and Mickey James team up with Asuka and Dana Brooke of all people. And this is like just Asuka with, with Jobber. Jobber gets beat up, 
does a hot tag on Asuka. Asuka comes in, beats up people. They team up on Asuka. Nia Jax c- comes out, smacks everyone around, and, and Alexa sacrifices Mickey James. So again, it, it was okay. It is what it was. Again, earlier they had the, 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 Paul, the Paul Heyman promo and just reminded me of Paulie Dangerously with his cell phone. And see this cell phone? And I have to do a better impersonation of it. But this is what I use a cell phone for. I would just smack something with it. But again, that was back in the 80s when they had the old bricks. Now, he, now he's on his, his, his very modern cell phone. My cell phone's still charging. But again, it's like, yes, 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 whatever, whatever. I just wanted to see him smack someone in the head with a cell phone. That's just that's nostalgia. Again, it, it also ends with Paul Dangerously, Brock Lesnar in the ring. There's wrestlers all around the ring to protect it. Oh, wow, something itches. And the wrestlers are all around the ring protecting from from a brawl happening. And when once that happens, you know a brawl is going to happen. Go home show. That is what it is. It was okay. Then we had SmackDown on Tuesday night. Again, really promo heavy. They, they did one of those things I hate is when they have an eight man tag team of people just involved in the battle royal. It is what it is. Uh, Shane O'Mac though is going to be the next Wolverine because the The vicular, whatever it was, you do not just walk away from that. You just don't. It's, it's not something you take two of these and call me in the morning. Thing. That's that's pretty nasty. And Shane Max is there wrestling now. It's like he's he's the next Wolverine. Everyone thought John Cena was. Now Shane O'Mac. Again, I, I did like the opening, especially with Daniel Bryan. Welcome to well SmackDown. At least at least they're saying hey, the show's starting. And then we had the cheeseburger match, which was pretty good. It was Charlotte versus Natalia. Again, good mat wrestling. Oh, um, I'm sorry. The, Shane, Shane O'Mac and, and Daniel Bryan, they, they had the hug it out chant. And that's just fun. It's a, it's a, cute, it's a cute way going, going way back to Daniel Bryan's indie days. When, when, and it's just fun. Again, uh, Charlotte and Natalia, that, that was a good cheeseburger match. Again, great technical wrestling. Natalia is still like that whiny Walmart or... Kmart mom. I don't want to spend your manager. But it, it was what it was. Asuka showed up. Good back and forth between Asuka and Charlotte. And it, it's a really good setup. There was, a, there was a tease there. I think there's going to be no more predictions. So again, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Good, a good AJ promo mentioning the Tokyo Dome, the history between him and Shinsuke Nakamura. Awesome. From there we had it's Rusev Day, and it was a it was a good match. Unfortunately, unfortunately Rusev won. He beat Jinder Mahal. Rude was on the commentary. Rude's great on the mic. I think he's very underrated when it comes to his mic skills. I mean, he, he talks a lot, and and it's and he sounds good on it. The math says Rusev's not going over. Again, I'll mention productions later. As we keep on going, again, then you had a Orton promo, Nakamura promo. Again, very promo heavy. Not as long, but again, it is a shorter show than Raw. So then you seem bad. A little tag team schmoz brawl get together in the locker room. Again, it's, <laughs> it's always funny when a wrestler, and here I'm going to kind of mock this. Go. But when they go into their pants, and it's very obvious, and pull something out. Uh oh. I hope I did not break. Let's see. Nope, there we go. Just a little bit behind. But again, that was that was that was pretty good. Um, it was just funny though. Again, Big E pulls out something out of his trunk. So it's, it's the old the old fashion. Let me get this out. And it, it, it is what it was. From there we go to an eight man tag match. Again, this is kind of like a filler match. 
So who cares about that? I'm Baron Corbin, Ty Dillinger, Brizongo. I even forget. Um, Mojo Rally. Who else was there? It was, um, what's his face? Rally's partner. Yeah, it was whatever. Then you had a Owens and Zane promo. This was actually pretty good. I, I'm still expecting to see a El Generico and Kevin Steen show up. It's okay. The final match, the main event, kind of wrap things up quickly. You have AJ and Shinsuke versus Shelton and Benjamin. Again, really good match. This is a surf and turf match. These two cannot put on a bad match. With that, with that being said, AJ and Shinsuke came out on top. I think Shelton, Shelton and Benjamin attacked them. Shinsuke fended them off. Got a little bit of an upper hand on Shinsuke. AJ came in for the save. AJ teases the phenomenal forearm and just pats Nakamura on the head. Again, a, a great way. I, I so I so wish this could be the main event, but it's it's not gonna be, and to that I'm sad. But it's this is going to be the match tonight, and again I'll get into that more with my predictions. And I would like to thank everyone for watching. Again, please like and subscribe. Um, again, if you do read your comment. You will get a shout out. And because it was Easter, I do wish a happy Easter to everyone. And this goes out to an old, old friend. But the best part of any chocolate Easter money, a lot of people like the ears. Some people like the nose. This is my part. I like the chocolate covered bunny butts. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you. Like, subscribe. Send an email, hobo and girlfriend at gmail.com. I'll be posting this up later. Let's over. Meat, candy, booze. The hobo is happy. Bye.